from a sold out Eddie Hot Arena here in Abu Dhabi, UAE. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bad Intention. All right, Herb Dean, our referee right. for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Good. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix Single Light Tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent got him going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Big left hand there inside. So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, how clean is that jab by Choi? Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over. He's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Overhand. Continuing to go to the head. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Back to the jab now. No good. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack. Oh, oh, he's hurt. Ooh, diving punch lands. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh! What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Well, headhunter, he is not beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. Straight right hand now just misses. 
Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, that's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Huge left hand. Oh, nice body shot. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has... Oh! Oh, he's hurt. Good right here. And just misses with that big right hand. No! Oh, a big left hand. Final second to round one. Single uh, collar tie. Uh, Close for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early? trying to find the finish. You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Come on, bro. Keep those hands up, boy. Nice jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Back out, back out. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Clipped him with a right hand there. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is yeah. huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Nice jab. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Yeah, he's got two. He's got his protect kicks. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Yeah, going to rip the body there. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Use that low kick. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Choi's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Last man standing. Ooh, big knee. That shot blocked by Choi. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, high kick. Oh. All 
right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Lands a big elbow there. Ooh, big shot lands. 90 seconds to go in the round. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. But it's a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Under a minute to go. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He wants to evade Stan's base. Swing and a miss with that punch by George. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Final seconds of the round. Down defense holds up. Oh. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them could really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Let's open up that door. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Nice leg kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. you got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut 
while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. We pass the midpoint here. Oh, a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Good punch. Nasty body kick downstairs. Could just about do it. Whiffs on that offering. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Nice jab. Just missed with the left there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Big oh, strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, huge left. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but. Oh. Final seconds. the can we're headed to the championship rounds all right there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight he doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out that is a severe gash on his face all right well defense wins championships and perhaps he can shore some things up there here are some replays from the damaging previous round well he's got to he's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse but hats off to his opponent his opponent found the target his opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot. That will finish the fight. Big right hand there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. Straight punch there again, been there all night. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Right on the button. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. All right, 
So he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground stroke. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. And here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win for the Korean Super Bowl here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started, a scary